Hey guys, what's up? This is Josh. Just doing my weekly update. I just fed these tilapia here, and they're uh, they're doing pretty good. They're getting pretty big, um, which is fine and all. It's just the temperature outside just is not warm enough to move any of them outside, so it's kind of scaring me with them being in this 75 gallon tank. <clears throat> my uh, I've been doing a lot this week. I got the 10 gallon tank here with like five of them in there, and they're somehow surviving. I do not know how. Um, I have uh, some carrots coming up here, and I moved one of the Buchalokia pepper plants over here, and one over there, and then there's some celery coming in, if you can see that. So, <coughs> I, uh, I have these two lights, and these are going to be the only ones that might stay on all summer. I don't know if I'm going to keep this grow bed active all summer, because these lights get really hot, and... I don't want to have to like go through extra energy expenses just to cool around my house when I'm creating my own heat. So I might <clears throat> do my best to kind of move everything or as much as I can outside. But I'll leave these, these grow beds in here for the uh, winter. Check it out. I emptied this sucker. It's done. Um, I was getting leaks. I sprung some leaks over here on the side. I had to use some silicon caulking to uh, <clears throat> keep it from leaking and then this little deal down here where I had the drain set up, it was just getting too clogged. Um, I know what not to do now. So, I guess experience is kind of more important than than having somebody tell you, you know, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build another one of these things to fit over in this space here. And I'm hoping I can build a smaller one instead of, you know, one this size. I can build one that'll be like a 55 gallon one. <clears throat> and then what I might do is I might just put a 55 gallon on the bottom shelf, a 55 gallon on the second shelf, and then maybe have a grow shelf up top for like lettuce or something. But I want to be able to maximize the tank space that I have in here for over winter whenever I want to uh, keep some tilapia alive for the winter. So that's probably what I'll do. I'm going to probably ditch this thing here, this container. I might turn it into a uh, compost bin. That's probably what I'll do. In this fish tank, this 30 gallon fish tank, I'm going to probably move out somewhere, maybe in my hallway out there on a table, and actually put a filter on it, because um, 30 gallon fish tank is not good for aquaponics, I just, it just it didn't work out so well, it was too uh, unstable, I mean I ha I got it working, it's just, I couldn't walk away from it, you know, for a week, and not have to tweak it, you know, so I moved all the rock out, since it's good bacteria rock moved it outside of the systems, <coughs> which I'll get to in a minute. And then, uh, tomato plants are doing pretty good. I got some pepper plants started in dirt so I can move them outside. I might move all of these hydroponic systems outside into the sun and just run electric out to where the sun is so that I can use uh, the sun outside. And then my strawberry plant died because the water got too low. Sucks, I know, but it was a pain in the butt growing that thing. So. Tomato. My micro toms are producing tomatoes, which is great. I'll probably keep these guys in this windowsill unit. And then my grapevine here. It's doing pretty well. It's starting up to come up pretty well. So. And this is where I have my light, where I have my starters for outdoors. Like, I got a bunch of tomato plants in here. Um, some watermelon, some cantaloupe. And I move some micro toms into some dirt. <coughs> so I can give them to my parents to put like on the windowsill in a pot. And then uh, these guys here, I need to move these outside. Get them out of these buckets and try and transplant them and see if they'll survive. Because they're just, they don't like the five gallon bucket at all. I understand. So, all right. Yeah, the hydro stuff I'm going to move outside, as you can see, I moved that one system right there that was on the windowsill for the pepper plants. I moved that outside, too. And it's pretty interesting how I got it all to work. All right. Right there is a hot plant, and I have some tomato plants started out here. Then, here's my other hot plant, and it is growing really freaking tall. I mean, it's vining up here pretty crazy-like. Got up to there. 
<coughs> so, this guy I'll probably transplant here pretty soon once the soil gets a little bit drier so that I can compact it right. And I move my basil plant outside, and then here's the pepper container. And I put on here, I drill into the, or uh, screwed into the, the wood that's up here for the ceiling. So I could run lines down, the plant clips. So I've got these all set up outside. Hopefully the bees will be able to pollinate these things better than I was. So I got a little container here. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, to kind of watertight the air pump. You know, I got some air holes in there as well for getting the uh, air in for the pump. So I did this just in case, you know, I didn't want anything to get wet. <coughs> Then, we'll move over to the systems out here. I got some tomato plants and dirt that are doing pretty well. I moved them from my aquaponics system. All my plants from my aquaponics system I moved. And this is where some of them went. I just finished doing this sucker yesterday. So I got the onions that I had in there. I transplanted them out here so hopefully they'll survive. And I moved a couple tomato plants one there and then one there and then I move my largest broccoli plant into this one see if it'll survive and what I just did was this is a uh, cement uh, tray cement mixing tray and it's plastic it's really durable too and I just drill the hole in the bottom of it put a <coughs> PVC fitting in and there's just a standpipe up there and this pumps on at all times, pumping water up into it. That way I can have some aeration of water. I might put an air stone in there depending on how much fish I decide to throw in there. And my system right here, this one's doing all right. The plants are looking like they're surviving. Not really growing too much it looks like, but hopefully that'll change. And I can't tell whether or not my fish are still alive in there, or my one fish is. So there's where the air pump is. We've got another one of those containers that are watertight. We had a storm a couple nights ago, and there is absolutely no water in this thing at all. Like, none. This thing did, like, really well. So, yeah, my water pump in there, just pumping water up to here at all times. I don't know if I'll be able to, no, I probably won't be able to move that and take that off. But, yeah, there's just a standpipe. And that way I have constant water flow. I think a really good thing in aquaponics is to have constant water flow through the rocks. Because you want to make sure that a lot of the waste are being taken, like left behind. Like in a, in a water filter that you would use for your fish tank, like the ones I've got inside, those filters run 24-7. So they always have water flowing through them. So it gets the most efficient amount of filtration done. So I'm going to try this and see how this works. And then I got my other tank set up and ready to go. This one is just about ready. I th I'm hoping by the end of today I'll have this one running. Because it's looking kind of weak. These uh, broccoli plants I tossed in here last night whenever I tore out all that rock. So I need to really get this thing going. Put, fill it with some more rock. And I have a standpipe in here as well that I'll be using to just have constant water flow to see how good a filtration I get. So hopefully I can get this up and running by the end of the day. <coughs> and put a couple goldfish in there. So, yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. And I'll keep you updated. I got my two barrel, or <coughs> I cut my barrel in half and put the PVC fittings on it. Then I'm going to fit over this one here. And then, and then I'm going to put a stand with a container on top that'll have a uh, bell siphon in it. And it'll be like, it'll be at the higher point and it'll like drain down into the barrels and the barrels will drain into the here. And that way I can have, put some like bio balls inside the top container where the water will be pumped into so that I can have some really good filtration in there. So we'll see how that works. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in and I'll uh, keep you updated next week with next update. Haha. <laughs> Alright, see ya.